Hi there, I hope that you're doing fine. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to reset the West Ink counter for Epson L3210. And this can also be applied to any other Epson L series. So without further ado, let's get started. So first here is my printer. It is showing the two red uh, light blinking and this shows that the waste ink uh, counter is full and so I need to reset. So first I want you to deactivate your antivirus and even your Windows Defender and then I'll come here. Please find a link in the description to download this software. So first let's go through the instructions. Here is the password for the first time. Okay, so enter password for the first time only. Instructions, turn off any antivirus on your PC before you open the resetter. We've done that. Run Epson Adjustment Program. We'll be doing that. Click select button and look for your printer on the model name. Then make sure that the port is auto selection. Then select particular adjustment mode. Select West Ink Pad Counter and then click OK. Then check the box on the main pad counter. Then click initialization. Turn off your printer and turn it on. So we are going to do that. Just close this and then run a DJ application extension. And here it is. Epson adjustment program. We have model, destination, language, and port. So I want you to click on select and uh, here on the model name, click here and choose your printer. So you will select the printer that you want to reset. For this case is L3210. Then uh, you realize the destination and language you cannot change. So under port, it was recommended to leave it at auto selection. So I'll click on auto selection and then click OK. Okay, and here we are. We've now been able to set. Now, I want you to move to here to select the particular adjustment. So click on particular adjustment mode. And then I want you to scroll uh, down. You can read through this, but I want you to scroll down under maintenance. And here we have several options to choose from. So I want you to choose a uh, waste ink pad counter. And then you'll click OK. And here this window will load and we now need to uh, check the counter. So first I want you to come and click here to check the counter value and give it some time. And now look at the main pad counter 4576 point that is 72 percent and the maximum is 6346 point. You can also move down here on platen pad counter you realize that it is 38, which is 1%. Ink system pad counter is 360 point, which is 28%. So we need to reset this so that our printer can go back to normalcy. So I want you to check all these uh, three options so that we can initialize them. And after that, I want you to click on initialize the selected counters. And once you click there, when the OK button is clicked, counter will be initialized. So click OK. And now please turn off the printer. OK, so we need to turn off the printer. So I will do exactly that so that uh, the process can be complete. So allow me to turn it off, then click OK. The waste ink pad counter has been initialized properly. Turn on the printer and click the check button to check the waste ink pad counter value. So click OK. And then we'll need to recheck this. So first, let us power it on. So we need to power on uh, our printer and give it time to initialize. You need to give it time to go to full power. Uh -huh. That is until this green light uh, stops blinking. That is when you know that the very printer is ready uh, for use. So we'll give it some more time and uh, just a moment it won't take a longer time but it depends with the speed of your printer some of the printers would be uh, taking a longer time and others would be taking a shorter time so this one has taken uh, about uh, five minutes 
And you can see now the red light is not there. So let's go back and check. We need to check and see if the counter has been reset. So I'll click on check and it will run the check. And now look at this zero point. So it is reset. I'll also check it again to just confirm it is zero, meaning that the counter has been reset and now the printer can uh, be able to print. So I want to print a sample here and show you. So I'll click on this agreement form and then I'll come to file and print. And then I just want uh, page one and then uh, we'll click on uh, print. So click on print and then I'll show you how it's printing because uh, it used to print and then after one print, it gives you a red light. After another print, it gives you a red light. So I needed to power on and off for me to be able to use it. But look at this. It's been able to print and the red light is no longer there. In other words, you've been able to reset the waste ink pad counter back to zero. And if this free method does not work for you, because it is not a guarantee that it's going to work. So if it does not work, you will need to purchase a key and do a reset using a premium key. So if that is the case, please watch our next video. You can also find a link in the description to watch that video on how to do the reset using a premium key. Otherwise, I hope that this video helped you. And if that is the case, you already know what to do. Boop that like button so that this video can be pushed to more people who are seeking on how to reset their Epson printer. And if you like my general content, feel free to subscribe with the notifications on so that you can be the first person to be notified whenever we post a video on this channel. Otherwise, I want you to click anywhere on the screen to watch our next video and I'm pretty sure that I will see you in that video. Peace.